Oh, hello, people in the chat. I hope your day is well. We're going to get this stuff started. Look at that hair. My goodness gracious. My wife is getting very angry about my hair. I can tell you that. Very, very angry and irate with my hair. I can cut it for you. Are you too scared to go to the to the hair cuttery? What about that scraggly beard? When are you going to do something about it? Uh, and I guess my only answer is, I guess when it's okay. But it's not okay right now, so I am going to be stuck with this. Now, I am probably this weekend... I'm thinking about it this weekend, because I have no idea how to cut hair or really trim a beard. Uh, I'm thinking of just getting out the uh, the hair clippers with a guard on it, like a four or five or six, whatever the largest guard is, and just going brrrump, brrrump, and seeing what kind of uh, damage that does. Maybe even to the beard, just go brrrump, and just see what kind of uh, results we get. I'm also, and the only reason I say that is because I'm getting really tired with the hair up top. Not necessarily the beard, even though I do wish I could get the, the, the beard trimmed. Uh, I'm getting really tired with the hair on top because the hats won't stay on my head. <laughs> it's not because I have a big head. It's because uh, when it's on, hats always tend to want to move up on my head. And with the abundance of extra hair, the hair moving around, well... The abundance of extra hair in places where I have it, because oh my god, if you guys have seen the uh, the webcam before, that bald spot—you probably didn't even get to see that, did you? That bald spot is getting huge, uh, which is probably another reason why I want to to trim it off. But um, the hair that I do have moves around enough to where the hat also just wiggles right off, and basically it looks like it's just sitting on top of my head instead of actually on my head. And then, of course, the one benefit, the one benefit I get, oh, I don't have my head here. The one benefit I get of having this really long hair right now is that I have gone back to the late 70s, early 80s style of hair, where everybody had so much hair and it was so long, you put on the baseball cap and you get what are called the uh, the Chevy Chase wings or the Fletch wings. If you've ever seen the movie Fletch, you know, whenever he wears a baseball cap, his hair just goes bloop flies out uh, under the hat uh, because it's so long that he's got these little wings. And even Thomas Magnum, if you watch episodes of uh, Magnum P.I., also has that same look. So that's what's going on with my hair. I really don't care because I really don't go anywhere. I think the funniest thing is when I have my, my gator on. You know, when I'm like this, you really can't tell that I have a beard. It just looks like I have long hair and sideburns. Uh, but <laughs> the other day, I went to the to the gas station, right? And actually, it's more like I wear it like this. But I went to the gas station, and I was, you know, wearing my gator and everything. Not sponsored by uh, Mission, by the way. And there was a girl in there. She's younger than me. I saw her giving me the eye, like, mm, look at that handsome, handsome fellow with that those flowing locks and that also getting a huge mullet ready to be a ponytail here on the back. And so I got back into my car and I pulled down my gator just as she's walking out and she takes a look at me and then she just starts like giggling, I think, because she didn't realize, oh my gosh, here's this guy that has this huge beard thing going on. Lots of gray in there, by the way. So I don't know. That... I don't know. What are you guys doing? Who's at mullet territory? Hubby wants me to do his hair again, says MJ, not that one. Monkey Bananas say he's got mullet territory. Literally, I've got a the starts of a ponytail if I want to do it. And it is about, if I, if I bunch everything up, it's about, at this point, a three, three and a half inch ponytail here in the back. 
but the weird thing is, it's like I've got this huge bald spot, like right here. I mean, it's literally about that size. Just put your hand on top of your head. You can see it. Enough about my vanity. Let's play some games, shall we? Whoops. Oh, man, I can't. <laughs> Enough about my vanity. Let's play some games. We are doing Sentinels of the Multiverse today. Oh, let's move the chat down so it's not... There we go. <laughs> well, hello. I didn't see the other huge beard. And it's soft, too. I think it's soft. It's not coarse. What'll be really amazing is if I do decide to cut this on Saturday, if I do cut this down, the weird thing is I don't get a pokey, scratchy beard. It becomes super, super soft after cutting it. So there you go. Uh, new weekly one shot today. Here's the thing. If I didn't have the hair in the front and I just had, you know, the crown or the, you know, the side, whatever it's called, the sideburn baldness, um... And it was this long, and I, it looks like David Crosby hair, basically. And I did pull it back into the ponytail. I'd actually look like one of the Sentinels of the Multiverse characters. What's his name? The Scholar. I would look exactly like the Scholar. So there you go. I'm more than happy to just let it grow. But like I said, it is getting a little a little redonkulous with the, with the top part of my head. I'm more than happy to let this grow, you know, keep going down and down and down. And just seeing how crazy it can be. But whatever. Nate, what are you doing with your hair? I'm more than happy to just... You know, I used to I used to shave my head all the time. When my first son was born, I think it infuriated my wife. Because the day he was born, I left her at the hospital. And then I went and just had all my hair shaved. And then came back and she was like... And uh, the other day she was like, you know, I could cut your hair. And I was like, no. And then... Um, like two days ago, I was like, eh, I might. I asked the boys, I was like, hey, would you guys like to get the clippers and shave my shave my head? And my wife was just looking at me again like, are you seriously going to go back to bald? I don't know what she wants. I don't know what she wants. My hair is, ba I'm basically bald now. I, I am, I am uh, secure enough in my personhood. I've never played this guy, by the way. And I've never played any of these heroes, by the way. Oh, yeah, I've never played any of these heroes, by the way. So I'm I'm secure enough in my in my looks that I don't care about my bald spot because I'm taller than my wife. So when I'm standing, she can't see my bald spot anyway, unless we're far away and my back's to her. But I would never turn my back on my wife because that's when she's gonna stick the scissors right between my. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, so what's the deal with this guy? I have a feeling we're going to get our butts kicked, right? And where's Lagnus at today? Is Lagnus here? Oh, hey, there's Lagnus. Hello, man. So I got to ask, uh, did you play the weekly one shot yet? Is this, um, is this guy crazy out of control? He's got 80 hit points. He's a radical peacemonger. What the heck is a radical peacemonger? I must kill the enemy at any cost to restore peace to our galaxy. At the start of the game, Bitliners play Radical Placeholder Side Up. Atomic Endgame is put into play. Uh, at the end of the villain turn, if there are three or more uh, catastrophe cards in play, Deadline flips. Otherwise, the top card of the villain deck is played. What happens when he flips? Ooh. He's an eco-vandal. At the start of the villain turn, if there are no catastrophe cards in play, Deadline flips. At the end of the villain turn, all environment cards are destroyed, and the environment trash is shoveled in. It's not a big deal. Oh. Okay, so we probably need to just crack this guy in the head as many times as we can. Okay, three energy, that's not that big a deal. At the start of the villain turn, deadline deals each non-villain target one irreducible melee and one irreducible, irreducible fire. So that's like five damage everybody's taking right now. Oh, shoot. Okay, so what do we need to do to get rid of some ongoing cards? Okay, that one's not bad. Oh, that one's the same thing. Destroy one environment card if that card was a, was a target. Lifeline deals up to three. I don't know what that... Oh, if it was a target. I don't know what that means. Uh, either put the top card in trash under the card or move all cards under the card of your hand. 
destroy all cards under this card. Okay, so this is fairly simple, something that we've seen before. I think I will put this one into play first. And then draw a card, and one player also draws a card. Oh, you haven't played it yet. Well, this will be interesting. Let's go Chrono Ranger. We've played him before. I have a feeling this will not turn out well. Okay, so the Naturalist seems like a good counter to somebody who's an eco-terrorist. Search your deck or trash for a form and put it into play. If you searched your deck, shuffle your deck. Haven't done that yet. So here's a form. Um, oh, I can destroy up to two ongoing cards. Nice. Let's do that. So let's punch this guy in the face. And then confirm. Oh, wait. Okay. Um, confirm. Oh, so I have to be in a certain form to do that? How do I, uh, blah, blah, blah. how do I change my form? Because I could have swore... So I have to have a form card in play. I wonder if I should redo that. I think I want to undo. I want. I think I want to redo that entire turn over again, because I think that I want to try to get that form out as quickly as quickly as I can. At least here, I'll, I'll deal this guy seventy-five damage right away. Okay. Search your trash. Uh, I'm going to search my deck for a form. And we want to get this one. Put it into play. Okay, there we go. Now the next turn I should be able to destroy two ongoing cards. That's probably what we, what we want to do. Okay, I don't want to do that yet. No. Uh-oh. Let us... just says Leaves Play. I'm going to put it next to this one, because I know in the next turn, because this is an... it does... oh, that's a device. So I do want to destroy the device. But I do also want to destroy those ongoing cards as well. Until select a non-hero target until after the next time you use a power. All bounty cards also affect the target and are not destroyed. I don't know what that means. Select a non-hero target until after the next time you use a power. I don't. I, that's somewhat confusing. I've played Chrono Ranger before, but not this variant of Chrono Ranger. Also, Arjun Adept I have played before, but not this... But not this incarnation of Arjun Adept. Let's see, no, I don't want to do that. 
Oh, I was hoping I could get that uh, other thing reduced. All right, now environment turn. Oh, I thought I had a thing where it was supposed to reduce damage dealt by that guy by one. Not increase damage. Although that was interesting that I knew nothing about these guys, but figured out that that was the nemesis, so... There you go. I think I will. Think I will destroy this one. No. Oh, destroy the first card. Ooh, boo. What happened to our freedom? It seems like this is yet another force field the government has inflicted upon us to enable more control, more power. Okay, I think after this first round, I kind of get what needs to happen, but. Uh, ugh. Yes, exactly. Oh, Geeky Choreographer had to leave. Oh, that's okay. Do I want this to go to Gandalf length? I don't I don't know if I I would. Um Because it is, it does get in the way quite a bit. All right. The first time an ongoing card other than this one enters lifeline play area. Draw a card at the end of your turn. Lifeline deals one target, one infernal damage. I think that's the one we want. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking of, because I've got these two gray streaks right here, I'm thinking of splitting the beard off, you know, getting a couple of uh, bands and, and splitting this off, and then as it grows, start to braid it. I think it needs to be about down to here before I can really start the braid, but I've been thinking, how weird would that look to split this off in two directions like that? Would that look too weird? Such language in these songs. Okay, now I want to do the thing that gets rid of two ongoing cards. Nope, that's not the one. Yeah, kind of like that, yeah. Hmm. 
Okay, definitely getting rid of this one. And I think the other one I want to get rid of is this one. If I use that, will that get rid of the... No, it doesn't. Good. Yeah, I have no idea. I mean, I really don't care either way. It's just I got tired of shaving. Even though I do use the Harry's razors. Don't forget, I use Harry's razors all the time. Love Harry's razors. I hope I did that right. Yes, I do. I use them on my neck. I actually use it. It's got a, tr it's got a, you know, the trim edge that I use to really kind of clean up this area up here, which I haven't done in like a week. Um, so that does help. One hero may use a power now. Form text? Yes. Now, who do I want to use their power now? I think I want... Lifeline... No, 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 no. Not Lifeline. Oh, what did I do? I screwed something up. Naturalist. And I want to get a form out again. What? I don't know what I did here. What am I supposed to be doing here? Probably got rid of uh, that that card. Yeah, I guess when I don't know any of these powers, it's just kind of like guessing. Does it do this? Does it do that? Now, obviously, this is a bad thing for anybody that has to deal with powers that have to do with things that are in your trash. That's fine. Ooh. So I guess we do need to get some of these. I thought, I thought this dude had a thing that took out the environment cards. Maybe that's only when he's flipped. It's what I get for picking up an, uh, a comic book that I know nothing about the history of and trying to make sense of it. 
All of a sudden, it's like, what is going on? Who are these characters? Where are they coming from? I kind of feel like... So the first time I read World's Finest, what is it, 2, whatever it is, 200-something, it was one of these issues where it's like, hey, let's revisit every meeting, first-time meeting. I get the... That's the funny part, right? Every first-time meeting... of Batman and Superman. And so I'm reading this, and they're like, hey, remember this? And there's this guy that shows up, and it was like, who is, you know, Ultraman, or uh, the Atomic Man, or whatever his name was. And I was like, what the heck is this? And it, by the end, end of the issue, it's like, oh, uh, this is actually a different Earth, and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, what is going on? And it took, you know, I'm reading this all the time, back and forth, back and forth, trying to figure out what is this story all about? And I kind of feel like that way jumping, It's now it's become one of my favorite, you know, it's my true introduction to the multiverse. But it was my first introduction to complex continuity, and just sitting there scratching my head um, trying to figure out what is up You know what? I probably should have done a healing. I think I'm going to undo that. Because he's about halfway done, and we really haven't hit this guy very hard. I feel like the naturalist is the one to use their power. But I don't think so. Sorry. For whatever reason, it doesn't. Whenever you close that, it doesn't allow you to go back to the list and figure out who do you want to use a power. So we'll have to draw all these cards again. Blah 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 blah. I know. So yeah, there's a weird thing like they're all. I don't remember what the thing is. Are, aren't they alternate universe versions of each other? One is good, one is bad. I, I forget what the tie between Lifeline and, and um, Deadline or whatever his name is. Ah, okay.
I know, right? Uh, that's probably going to be the next thing. Okay, so he could get that and use a power. I could destroy up to two ongoing cards. I think I like that one. Could draw four cards. I think I'm going to go back to this one right here. Three targets, two melee damage. And let's try to get this guy out. I, didn't they release a new something or other the other day? I could have swore that they did. Oh, and by the way, Lagnus, thank you for letting me know about uh, all those um, Fantasy Flight Arkham Horror card game uh, options, because... Um, you're right, I had not been aware that... Uh, I had not been aware that those uh, new player cards existed. Also, I had ordered, because this was like back in January, I guess it was announced, I had ordered that Innsmouth uh, starter set. But uh, yeah, I did, I've did. i been trying to not to spend money, and then you mentioned that the other day. And I went out to Fantasy Flight and bought a bunch of stuff, then I went to, I realized I needed a new box to store all the Arkham Horror stuff, so I went out and bought a new art box to put them all in. So thank you for making me spend money. Okay, now it's time to start kicking some some butt. Hopefully. Cross my fingers, right? There we go. There's an equipment card we want to get in play. All right, let's get this in. Let's put this equipment into play. So that's a Harmony card. So I need to get a Rhythm card into play. I think I don't know how how this is gonna. I don't know how this is gonna play out. Well, I guess we'll just see. No, 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 no. I was gonna. 
you know, I would have spent the money on that anyway at some point in the future. So, no big deal there. So don't don't be shy about that. I think I'm going to lose this game. I, I unless I can I'm not I'm not punching this guy hard enough. And I'm not restoring health fast enough. Okay, he flips. I don't want him regaining Oof, got to get rid of that ongoing card. <laughs> Ouch. Owie. Yeah, I think I... Uh... I don't feel... I don't feel good about this. All right, where are we going to get some maximum damage here? Okay. Lifeline deals himself one infernal, infernal damage. Either play two cards or draw three cards. I might play two cards. I might try those two ongoings. I might try dis... Oh yeah, that one's kind of bad. Take one damage, then play two cards. And I think I'm going to do the two ongoing. I will play that. And then I will play... I think that was the right choice. I've got too many board games I still haven't even opened. Alright, so let us get rid of this guy. And then let us get rid of this guy if we can. And then this one. He's got that bounty on him, so he gets an increase in damage. All right. So do we have any group healings? Yeah, I think I'm going to go for the two m melee damage. I think I'm going to do it onto this guy. Let's see, would this guy take extra damage? He would take four damage. I think I need to get this card out of play, but then I lose that bounty card, which is okay. So 
long as I can regain some hit points each time, I think that might be okay. If I've got a combination of one-shots with damage and other things, we probably are going to be okay. All right, let's see if we've got... Probably ought to put that into play. So that one would be 2 damage, that one would be 3 damage. Kickstarter is very enabling. That is my problem. Why are these cards not leaving play? Okay, so we got a harmony card in play. We need a melody card and a rhythm card, right? A company. We need a rhythm card. I don't know if he can take three infernal damage. Wait, this is my thing, right? confirm that one. I don't want to get rid of that other one. Because that is one that I can use. Yeah, some of them I buy just because they look cool. Like, most of the times now, I'm starting to buy games from companies that I trust. IDW Games is really good. I bought into that Batman game. Um... The uh, Cool Mini or Not, the little, uh, uh, what is it, Marvel, Marvel Legendary game, the one with the little chibi uh, Marvel figures looks really great. Um, so I bought into that. Uh, if there's something really cool Cthulhu-related, I'll probably buy that. Uh, let's see, I can't skip, can I? I guess I have to choose for me. I don't know why these things stay in play. This makes no sense why they stay in play. Oh, come on, Lifeline. Ah, uh, this guy is killing us. Vinok, I have to get rid of. The 
Yeah, I think the environment does, is going to kill me. Oh, I should have gotten rid of that. Dang it. Okay, let's go back. No, let's go back further. Okay. Well, there's no way... Um, lifeline. Play a card, and the one that I selected was... Destroy up to three ongoing cards. Yeah, so I should have... I got my two bad guys confused. Yeah, I don't see anything here that I'm going to destroy. This guy is going to take four damage. Oh, and I definitely bought into the Street Masters and the Sentinels of the Multiverse game and a bunch of other stuff. And this is definitely a choose for me. Oof. Yeah, that's the problem, the Great NATO. You you end up having to, because you don't know how successful the game is, like the Batman game uh, that's coming from IDW Games. Um, you don't know how good it's going to be, although the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it's the same system. So that kind of gives you a hint. But it's like, oh, you know a lot of these expansions and other things are not going to come to game stores, and because I don't have a game store in my area, I wouldn't even be able to go anyway to see it before it would be sold out. So you're right, I go all in. It's like a base game of like 100 bucks, but then all those extras that they add on ends up being a $250 game because you buy everything in that set. So yeah, I'm a little, um... oh, I'm dead. Why is this thing still working? Why do these devices work even though they have, even though they have um, negative values on them? That's infuriating. All right, don't I ha I should have a I have zero health things going on. Yeah, if I do infernal damage, I'm just going to kill myself. And I think my desire to to beat the bad guy is letting letting these guys live. I probably let these guys live too long. Okay, so he was a target. Okay, so now I can deal one damage each. So that'll be two damage for him. Well, 
One damage there. And one damage to this guy. There we go. So I need that one shot to get into play. I don't know. This is going to be really close, you guys. I don't know if I can survive. Okay, I have a feeling I need to regain health. Um, So if I change forms, I lose that, those effects. So I'm just going to skip, I think. What was this one shot? Yeah, those don't really do anything for me. I, okay, so there you go. That would be a thing for that. All right, let's get this other bounty card into play. Put it under this guy. Let's double up on this guy. So now there's three bounty cards in play. All right, select up to two tar targets until the start of your next turn. Increase damage dealt by those targets by one. Ah, we need to use this one, though. Because everybody needs a HP. Even if it's just a little bit at this point. One player other than you, than you may, may play one card now. Eh, where's the... Yeah, let's go back one.
hope this is right. Shouldn't I be able to destroy? I figured I would be able to destroy those two cards. Oh, but they're not ongoing cards. Yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Sorry. I've got to figure out how these things work, right? Okay. Yeah, this this no good. I think I'm dead on this turn. Or Yeah, I don't understand why those cards don't go away. I am a big giant head. Oof. TM was the most expensive. What? Which is TM? Oh, terraforming Mars. I I did buy into that one too, which I should not have. But whatever. Oof. Yeah, if I would have known that I could do nothing to these cards. then I wouldn't have been trying to do damage to them the entire time. I want to go with that, because you get to play these ongoing cards anyway. And what is this one? It is a fun game to play, although I don't have anybody here to play it with, except for, you know, people outside the house, and right now we don't let anybody come over to the house because of uh, COVID. So I've got all these games that I want to play, and my kids aren't really interested. I need to just say, hey guys, we're going to sit down and we're going to play this game. I don't want to hear any any crap from you guys. Ugh, this guy. It's too bad it's at the end of the game where I realize, oh, here's how I can beat the crap out of Deadline. Yeah, I just need to get the kids to sit down and say, okay, here's a game we're going to play. I think the, the game that I want them to play is the Marvel, uh, what's the one where it kind of goes around in a circle and you're beating up the villains and you're moving your guys. I don't know if that's going to be too complex for them or not.
My wife, she doesn't have a whole lot of free time, so I tend to, whenever she has got free time, just leave her alone kind of thing so that she can just decompress from work and all the stress that she has to deal with at work. Um, so she doesn't get into it as much. Gotta pop him in the face. We must save the planet. So the question is, should I change my form? I think at this point I want to go ahead and regain the hit points. But I think maybe I need to change it. Who knows? Oh, you know which one I want to use is that... Obviously, we want to hit this guy for seven. Pow in the face. God. I could hit that guy, or I could hit this guy for four. Oh, nice. All these guys get four, right? Ooh, interesting. Okay, hit this. So what should I do? Should I hit Deadline in the face for six, or hit this guy in the face for four? I have a feeling I might need to go this way, because that would pretty much in the next round, providing everybody survives, be able to take him out. Yeah, we're going to use this one. Eight damage, crud, man. Oh, he's down to two points. Okay, how can I use this to my advantage? Going into this other guy. All right, so do I have... Oh, um, Argent deals one target, one... Da -da 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 -ba -ba. I'm going to do the perform text on here. Frost and Flame. <gasps> Pow! Now, hopefully this doesn't mean that he flips. Hopefully this means that we have won the game. We have won the game! Nice, nice, nice. Definitely sharing that. I beat him, and let us look at... Our collection. Oh, we got a near mint because we used the undo. Because we used the undo a couple of times, we didn't get a mint condition. But we did get a near mint uh, cover. Nice. We got a near mint cover. Uh, that played out well. Okay, now I, I, I kind of figured out how to use those guys 
with Chrono Ranger. Yeah, you got to get those bounty cards out from Chrono Ranger and then getting that power based on the number of hits, based on power. Yes, that worked out really well. Oh, I'm very happy about that. I really thought that I was going to be, that I thought I was going to be dead in that. I didn't think that that was going to go on long enough, but it went on just long enough, just long enough for me to beat the villain. I think that's kind of a good message to end the, the, uh, the day on, right? If we can go on just long enough, if we can survive just long enough, we can defeat the villain. Marvel Champions. I don't know if I have played Marvel Champions. Uh, oh, yeah, no, I have played. I haven't played that yet. It's one of the ones that's in the box that I haven't gotten out yet. Um, let's see, Marvel Unlimited... I don't remember if that's one I have. I don't remember which Marvel games I have. Plus, I have that one that's coming that was at Walmart before everyone else got it. I got the full version of that. Ah, anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. That's that's where I sit with games. I've got some... Th I do have to... Because I have a bunch of unopened um, Arkham Horror card games uh, packs that I haven't opened yet, I think I need to read a comic book. So my rest of my afternoon is <laughs> read a comic book Put, open up those packs, put cards and sleeves, and put them into their uh, con respective containers. I did go out and print a bunch of new dividers. I went to a print shop, paid a bunch of money. But I got really nice dividers for all the scenarios, all that stuff. I'm going to card those up. Then I'm going to take the boy to, uh, not the boy, the sidekick, to karate practice. Eat a wonderful large, like, uh, it's like this big, giant burrito for dinner. And then at 8 o'clock p.m. tonight, for all of you who are on the Major Spoilers Discord and our Patreon members at uh, patreon.com slash major spoilers, if you're a patron at the Silver Dollar level and higher at 8 o'clock p.m. tonight, Central Time, we're going to be recording uh, the Dueling Review live for the people in the Discord. Okay, so you want to get over there. You want to become a patron if you're not already. You want to connect your Patreon to our Discord. You want to join our Discord, then you want to get in at 8 o'clock tonight into the Dueling Review live chat where you can come in and you can talk and listen to us live. You can listen to us talk pre-show. You can, I bet we do probably 10 minutes pre-show and sometimes, depending on the evening, anywhere from 10 minutes to 30 minutes of post-show discussion with you guys. So it's like a bunch of bonus content that we don't record and release anywhere else. Live tonight, 8 o'clock p.m., we are reviewing... Marvel's Marvel Action Spider-Man number three from IDW Publishing of all people. So hope to see you there. You'll be sleeping at 8 o'clock p.m. Come on. Oh, Lagnus, what country are you in, Lagnus? I don't know what country you are in, but you'll be sleeping, and that is fine. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a good day. Do good. Be good. Survive just long enough to beat the villain. And we will be back. Oh, no, we do not have a Finally Friday this week. Right? Or was it last week? I'm going to have to look. Did we do a Finally Friday last week? I can't remember if we did Finally Friday last week. If we did Finally Friday last week, we're not doing a Finally Friday this week. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, but we will be back on Saturday afternoon to play some more um, Assassin's Creed. Oh, yes, because of the con. Okay. So no Finally Friday this week. We will be back on Saturday to play Assassin's Creed Odyssey and whatever else. Go visit the website, Majorspoilers.com. Check out the Patreon page, patreon.com slash Majorspoilers. If you're already a patron, thank you. And we will see you again very soon. Yeah.